welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Lizbeth and I share my love for easy beauty and my personal style. And today we're going to be talking about gua sha. I'm sure you've heard about it. I'm sure you've seen it or maybe you pronounce it as gua sha, but it's actually called gua sha and it's an ancient Chinese technique that I've been doing on my face and it's kind of trending right now, but I actually have fallen in love with this technique. I've found my skin feels more supple, more luminous, a lot more glowy, and there's a lot of benefits to it. There's a lot of reviews out there, there's a lot of different techniques, there's a lot of opinions about it. Um, so I've been apprehensive about sharing this video, but I really enjoyed the process and I've found a technique that works for me, so I thought I would share how to do it. So if you want to learn how to guasa, then keep watching. So guasa, which I'm sure sounds super interesting to you, and maybe you're wondering what guasa means. Guasa means scrape sand. Like that's what it translates, scraping sand. And I'm sure you're wondering why sand, not at the beach, there's no sand on my face. Well, technically this tool scrapes your skin Nothing intensely. If you Googled it, I'm sure you've seen some really insane like back scrapes, but it doesn't hurt. And if you are getting really red, you're gonna get red, but it's gonna be like a sun kiss red, like you've been in the sun. But if you get really red and you see scrapes, like intense scrapes on your face, you're probably doing it too hard. This is gonna be a very gentle process. But yeah, it's called like scraping sand because when you scrape, if you've seen the techniques, the photos, little red tiny dots surface on the skin and it looks like sand. So that's why it's called gua sa, scraping sand, because you're scraping on your skin, but you're not gonna have that intense redness on your face. So don't worry about that. I'm sure that might have freaked you out, but it's become part of what I like to do. You can do it every day. I love doing it at night. You can do it in the morning. You can do it anytime you want to do it and I've really started to enjoy just like chilling out, self-care Sunday routine, mask, then I will oil and gloss on my face. So if you've never seen this before, this is actually a rose quartz guasa. It also comes in jade. This is like the shape. It is kind of like a fin, like a shark fin. It has Con it's concaved, it's really smooth, it has rounded edges, and that just helps with the contour of your face. There's also other different shapes like this. This one was my first guasa, and it's rounded, it has these little spikes on it, um, it is smooth. A variety of guasas is great to have, but I've been using this one regularly all the time. This has been my go-to. So they're normally flat, stoned like so and they're hand carved which is awesome. Guasa is just going to be really beneficial at the cellular level. Beneath our skin there's a lot of cells, there's a lot of stuff going on in our bodies and, and using a tool like the Guasa tool to promote lymphatic drainage is just going to help your body so much. If you've never heard of lymphatic drainage, it's, go it's a process that helps stimulate the flow of lymph and lymph is a liquid that flows throughout our body just like our red blood does and the lymph Lymph holds white blood cells, it holds oxygen, it holds fats, and it helps kind of release toxins throughout our body. And the lymph actually flows through our nodes, so that's why I say your lymph nodes swollen, because the lymph, you know, you have a sore throat, those little balls, um, those little nodes just help filter out any toxins and any issues, any illnesses. A lot more research needs to be done, you guys, so if you really want the scientific information, do your research. I will share a couple articles below, um, but ultimately there's positive. I've noticed for myself, my skin, my face specifically, because this can be done on your body as well. Um, glows, it looks more supple, it's a lot more radiant. I've gotten a lot more comments. I've gotten DMs about my skin recently, so I think this has a lot to do with it. It's also really great for any of you babes that grind your teeth. I grind my teeth, I have a night guard, and I will just hold so much tension here and this helps release any tension. And that's what I also wanna note about this. 
it feels really nice I'm sure it probably looks like you're in like when I say scraping but you're not it feels like if you ever worked out and you had really tense quads and you roll your legs out it just feels a little bit nice you feel like there's a release there this is that same feeling but it feels really good especially around your jawline where it's tight around here I've noticed I really love focus focusing the guasa there um, it's great on your back too. Yeah, now let's get to my technique, what I like doing, what's been working for me. So, to properly do guasa, you're going to need to moisturize your face. Um, I like doing it, like I said, after I wash my face, after I've masked. I love doing, um, I'll use a baby facial to exfoliate my skin and then follow up with my moisturizer. Um, my moisturizer is actually a serum. I'm really digging Luwer's Face Serum. This is a new one that has CBD in it. I've had a hard time finding an oil that works for my skin, that doesn't irritate my skin, that doesn't make me break out. And you guys, this one has been amazing. I will link it below. It is so nice really helps moisturize my skin. I think it's a lot to do with why my skin feels and looks popping. And you are going to need a facial spray to add more hydration to your skin. You really need a lot of slip when you're using the guasa tool to glide ever so gracefully, gently. You don't want to tug or pull on your skin. So, I mean, any will work, but these are what's worked for me. I really love this rose gold right now because it's just sprays so evenly if you ever when you're at like an amusement park and it's really hot and there's misters it literally mists like that it feels so so good when I first started this is a new one so when I first started I actually just used Glossier's rose water spray worked really great um, but I really love the mist on this one and then I've also been using this Ren overnight balm I it's a recovery balm I just really like how supple and moisturized my skin feels from it. Um, I don't really know exactly what it does. Um, I will look it up right now. All right, so it's a rescue balm that enzymatically activates oils to feed and moisturize the skin, strengthens the skin barrier, and relieve any irritation. It helps lipid production and helps skin the skin itself. It's perfect for sensitive skin. Um, it just helps cell turnover. I really love it. It really works nicely on my skin. All right, so let's get to guassing finally. So let's mist our face. I'll put this on this so you guys can see. On your neck. In the back of the neck. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with the Luwer Facial Serum and shake it up. Seriously, you guys, this has totally changed my skin in my opinion. One to two drops, but I just do like a full dropper. Just. Can you press it into your skin? add a little bit more I really love this oil it's kind of expensive though okay and then I'm gonna go in with the run balm I've genuinely been using this I really really like it it's very moisturizing hydrating a nighttime balm. I just was using it because I know it wouldn't irritate my skin. All right. I'm so excited. You guys, this feels so freaking good. Okay. So you want to start with the neck because this is where the most or like the largest nodes are for the drainage. It's like little funnels here. So you want to activate your neck first. I've also seen some videos where they start in the middle of the forehead here and like activate it. So you're just going to, so you're going to see some redness, but 
that's okay because it's promoting blood and circulation. The neck and go down. So you don't want to go at a complete 90 degree angle. You want to go at like a 45 degree angle and glide the guasa tool down and kind of hold it right here for a little bit. And you're going to do this three to five, 10 times up and down gently. And it feels so good. You're not going to tug or pull. I'm just going to glide it down. So now I'm going to go my ear and drag it down. Now for my jawline and around here, you're going to notice the most kind of like tension. It doesn't hurt, but when the guasa glides over it, it feels just like it's loosening. It feels really nice. So I'm going to go on my jawline, use the concave part. You want to always lift up and out. going to go my upper lip and bring it up use this side for kind of like my whole cheek and I tend to notice like a knot there because like I said I grind my teeth It's just so easy to do. It feels so nice. You're just going to glide. You're not going to pull. That's why you really, you know, saturate your face with oils and sprays. And then this is my favorite for any puffiness. I will do this in the morning. It helps with the, generally really helps with any puffiness. Um, it's known to help as well for any of you babes that have dark under eyes. It helps bring circulation under your eye. So could try that as an option and my brow all right now for the forehead and all you're doing is gliding moving just releasing any buildup in the face Another one you can do, go up towards your hairline. So this is my face after I, I guasa on one side. I wanted to show a comparison. I definitely noticed a little bit lifted. It feels relaxed. It feels like it's stimulated. All right, and that is it, you guys. That is how I gloss up. My skin feels just fresh and like there's blood circulating. It feels warm, but like really relaxed at the same time. Um, it's good to drink water when you do this. It's really easy to do. It's really stuck. Like it's something that I really look forward to doing. It's something that I've noticed. I look a bit glowy. I look more luminous, a little, little bit more lifted and radiant. So I really enjoy doing this. Kind of something I've been doing a lot lately and I wanted to share with you babes. I know a lot of my followers are asking me about Glossa, how to do it. So that is my video and my tutorial on it. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me and more of my favorite like easy beauty things that I like to do and tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And yeah, that's it. I will let you go and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.